What do you want? I need some provision. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you have a bag of rice, sugar and onion? Yes, I have one of them. What is the price for that? A uh, bag of rice is 1,500. What? Yes. A bag of sugar is 1,006. And a bag of onion is $600. What? Yes? That's so expensive. Oh, my sister. Then you want to know why it's expensive? Yeah. If that is expensive, you, you, you go and ask a bad customer, bad, not me. Bad? Yes, bad. Do you even know what is bad? <laughs> I know bad more than you customer. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, what is bad? Bad is value-added onion, value-added sugar, value-added rice. Bad is value-added everything. That's why everything is expensive. Bad means value-added tax. It's tax imposed on the supply of taxable goods and services. And do you even register for your bad? Register. Of course. Register. Do I have to register? You have to. I don't register, definitely. Don't you know that only those registered and issued certificate by GRA who are eligible to charge VAT? And don't you know that basic foods such as rice, sugar, onions, etc. are exempted from VAT? I never know that system. You know, when you are saying bad, you have to reduce your voice. Because I just hear bad, 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 but I don't know what is bad. Then I rally behind bad so that I can increase the prices. It's only that. You should make sure you stop this unjustified action. Because if you're caught by the law, you'll face the penalty. No, as from today, I stop everything. Because to pay bad is the people of the country. Of yes. So I, I, I thank you. Please, don't report me. Okay, just make sure that you desist from this uh, unjustified action. Do you want onion? I will take the onion off your compound because you give me a very good assignment. Today, I stop everything. Now I'll start selling the normal prices. Okay. Thank you very much, Costa. Right. So let me take the onion to your compound. Okay, okay sister, sister don't, don't worry. I stop everything now. Okay, let's go. Let me drop it to your compound.
News at 8 in our top stories. President Jameto is part of Talindin where he orders the relocation of people in certain areas of the Medina neighborhood as part of efforts to avert the current occurrence of floods, floods in the area. Egypt's unending political drama continues with former President Hosni Mubarak and Muslim Brotherhood leader Mohammed Badia facing prosecutors in court charged with various offenses. And U.S. Secretary of Defense Jock Hegel hints a possible use of force in Syria as the fallout from the alleged use of chemical weapons in a Damascus neighborhood rumbles on. These and other stories coming ahead this half hour. I am the Kumadem. One Jim Job of Lower Nyomi, North Bank region, has written to the President of the Republic, His Excellency, Sir Professor al Haji Dr. Yair Jami, and the message reads, I am indeed glad to thank you for the numerous assistance you render, especially during this month of Ramadan and all others to the citizenry. I am also praying for you and your family for continuous peace and good health. I and my family shall continue to be behind you forever, and we all are looking up to you as our leader who is here for the development of the nation. I therefore thank you, sir, and may Allah keep blessing you. It ends. The President's Excellency, Sir Professor al Haji Dr. Yair Jami, has ordered for the relocation of people in certain parts of Talindin Medina as government searches for a definitive solution to the flash flood floods that render the whole neighborhood inhabitable every year. The Gambian leader who spoke to GRTS while touring the area and other parts of the KMC also lamented the maintenance problem gripping road networks, especially in Bunum and Latirkuna. Abdenya went along and this is his report. The signs may have been very minimal if there was any. But news of this surprise outing has again brought life to the corners of this neighborhood in Talinding Medina. Beneath the euphoria lies a deepening concern for the health conditions of residents who continue to face the consequences of an ever-changing environmental crisis. This is not the first time they have been visited by the Gamay leader who shares their pain and suffering as he tries to live their ordeal in this pragmatic fashion. The size of his delegation, comprising the Secretary General and the Head of the Civil Service, the Minister of Works and officials of the National Roads Authority, is testimony to the speed with which he wants the problem handled. There is no way we can fix it. In terms of drainage? Yeah, there is like people going to settle around Denton Bridge. There is no way you can set up a drainage system to dry up that place. So we are going to move them. The same Solution for Kotu, uh, Kotu Kware, that's the same solution we are going to adopt. This area had run dry following a long drought spell, which ended in 1994. But now compounds here are so much as the waters fight to regain lost territory, already inhabited by hundreds of residents. Government had been caught up in the midst of this battle between nature and its population, and the pain of relocating all of them is beginning to sue. Yeah, this company is growing rice. Yes. Because, yeah. because it's a faro after all. Of course, it's a faro, but because of the drought, during those drought years, they thought that the drought is here forever. But now, from 94 to date, okay, we cannot keep on compensating people every year. So this year, we are not going to give anybody anything. Because this is a traditional flood area, and they know it. So if they stay there and their houses are inundated, there will be no compensation this time. Because I've been talking about it. It's just like NRA giving excuse, knowing that this every year, there is water here, and they didn't fix it. But is climatic changes happen, um, I mean, having an impact in, 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 our, in, our, in our Gambia, yes. specifically when it comes to floods and so on? Because it seems, as, as you just mentioned, that there was a drought, and then people are leading to certain neighborhoods. But and the, the pattern changed. 